What if I told you you've been self-publishing low content books all wrong? Pretty big claim, right? Well, tell me if this sounds like you. You go to one site or platform or software to do your niche research to decide what you're gonna create. Next, you log into a different site or software to create the interior. Then you head on over to a third software to make the cover and maybe even use a fourth one to do your keyword research. If that sounds like you, then I'm about to change your business because I'm gonna show you one tool that will allow you to do all of that and more without leaving the site. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Well, this is a site I'm talking about. It's called BookBolt. And if you wanna check it out for yourself, you can head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash BookBolt and use the coupon code KEITH20 in all caps to get 20% off every single month. But let me show you what you can do in BookBolt. There's so many different things that are available in BookBolt. This video would be super long if I showed everything. So I'm gonna show just what we talked about, which is creating a low content book using BookBolt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head on over to product search, which is where I'm at right here. And you can put in keywords. Here's some of the categories. You can just do general. So maybe you don't know what kind of low content book you wanna create. You can do guest books, comic books, log books, trackers, sketchbooks. You also can do puzzle books and activity books, coloring books, planners, calendars, music sheets, journals, and notebooks. So there's a ton of different low content, no content, and medium content options that you can do. But let's just say we don't know what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna stick with general. And obviously we wanna look at live products. We can sort by BSR or number of reviews. We can search for certain keywords or by author. And we can even go down to advanced search and we can change the range. So here's some parameters we can put in. So I don't want to compete against the number one book in all of books. So let's say I want, uh, I want to look at books that are ranked between 25,000 and 100,000 sales. Let's say the price, I don't want to go against something super cheap. So let's say anything that's $8, $8 or more. I don't want to compete against something that's got five stars right now. So we'll just set that to four stars and number of reviews. I want to compete with something that's got a hundred reviews or less. So no more than a hundred reviews. Let's see what we come up with. Okay. So here are the books that are currently on Amazon that fall into that category. So the very first one, it'll show me over here who the author is, the price point. It'll show me what the BSR is, even what the movement of it is, you know, how it's moved, the average bestseller rank, the number of ratings, what the average rating is. Independently published tells me that it was published through KDP. And then I can click on here to get the book description. I can even click on the title and actually go see the book for myself. So again, this is a my first coloring book. Uh, let's see, what's this one? This is just scrap paper. I mean, that's literally all it is, is just scrap paper and they're cha charging $11 for it. It's got 15 ratings, so I can definitely compete with that. I mean, the overall BSR, the average BSR is 28,000, which is doing really well. All right, let's see what else we've got. Got some coloring books. There's a, a reservation book for restaurants, independently published. Again, that means it's through KDP. It's been up for a few years and only has 90 reviews. Twenty. The average, right now it's at 25,000. Uh, the average is uh, 34,000, so still selling really well. What is this? This is a, just a journal. Activities for young girls and moms to bond together. This is logic puzzles, coloring books, activity books for seniors. You got an advent calendar. Okay, a lot of puzzle books that fall into this. Nice. If you're interested in me doing a, another video about BookBolt, about specifically puzzle books or activity books, let me know down in the comments. Here we go. Grief Journal. Okay, it's selling for $10. Average BSR is 38,000. Again, doing really well. Okay, let's just say, I'm just gonna pick one. Here we go, here's a song book. This one actually, they even have a YouTube channel. They can send people to the YouTube channel. That's that's a cool thing to put on your cover, nice. Oh, what's this, just a plain composition book. If you wanted to do a composition book, I mean, this one, it's got four ratings, three star average, but it's still, the BSR is still 24,000. That's selling quite a bit considering the fact that it's got only four reviews and they're not good. So you absolutely can compete with that. And what I would do is I would actually go click on the book, see what people don't like about it. So you can make sure that your book is better. But anyway, so let's go up. We'll just do a line journal. So we're going to go up to here, up to the top. So right now we've already done our niche research, right? We already figured out what we're going to create a book about. All right. So now I'm going to click up here, top left-hand corner. And then now, as you said, I mean, I can do keyword research. Let's go and actually create the book. You can create your book right here in the same tool. So I'm going to go down to BookBolt Studio under create. Here's a Thanksgiving coloring book that I did previously, but we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna go to new project. 
low content book or AI story generator. We'll do that another time. Um, so we're going to do low content book and we're going to do what size do I want? We're going to do eight and a half by 11. Okay. But it, as you saw, it's got all the different trim sizes that KDP has interior paper type black and white interior with white paper. Here we go. Do I want bleed or no bleed? I'm going to say no bleed. How many pages? Well, that one was 110. So we'll just do 110. Matter of fact, here, we'll do 120. That way we really can compete. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is it's got the cover and the interior in the same system, right? Not only that, but something that I've never really seen before. It has the KDP template guide right here. I don't have to go and Google up KDP cover template or anything like that. It's all right here already in the system. So again, one less step for me to do, one less place for me to go. All right, so next we're gonna actually work on the interior. So for the interior, as you can see, another thing I love is that it says, whether it's an odd page or an even page, uh, that matters because in most countries, the book start on the odd page on the right-hand side. And so it's good to know without having to look at the number or anything else, whether this is an odd page or an even page. So again, tells you right there. So we're gonna click in here and then this is my area to work with. As you can see, already has the margin guidelines right here. So again, one less thing for me to worry about. And I can go in, I can add text, I can add in elements. There's a file library. So things that I've already uploaded or you can get things off Pixabay or Unsplash. Or again, you can upload. This is one that I uploaded for my coloring book, a different coloring book. So that's the file library. This is for pages. So these are your page templates. So we're gonna go in here and here you go, very simple. So this is a blank page with a page number. So if you've tried to publish sketchbooks before on KDP, you need to at least have a page number on it or it's gonna get kicked back. This right here has the page number in it. If you want line rule right here, if you want ruled with the banner on the left side, there you go. This is for a journal. And as you can see, if you click on it, there are three variants to each. Okay, so you've got narrow ruled, college ruled, and wide ruled, depending on the age group that you're going for. I'm just gonna go with college ruled, click on that. And now I need to just tell it what pages I'm putting it on. So I'm gonna put it on all of them. Now, as you can see, I can select all, I can deselect all, I can say select from a certain page number. But what I really love is, and this especially if you're doing multiple things inside the same book, think of an activity book, you can click in here and say, select only the even pages, select the even first half, the even second half, only the odd pages. So let's say that you're doing maybe a coloring book and you don't want images on the even pages because you want it to be a picture and then a blank page, right? So you can literally just say, select odd pages and it will do that. But for this, we're doing everything because it's a lined notebook. So we're just gonna select all right here. I'm gonna deselect the cover and then continue to options. What kind of spacing do I want between the lines? What do I want the line color to be, the width? I'm just gonna leave it all to the default, but you can change it. So if you look at the reviews that the other books have and they say, well, you know, I didn't like the color of the lines. I'm used to lines that are blue. Then, well, you can go in here and you can change the line color to blue. The field line color, that's the one where it's red, typically, traditionally. So I can go in here and I can make it red. So again, might be a complaint that people had to ones that are being published on KDP that, you know, a lot of people don't like to do color because it costs more money. Well, if people are used to, you know, the red line for the field and the blue lines for the actual lines in the book, if it makes them more comfortable, it's worth the extra money, right? So again, I could do that. I can go in here and I could say, make that red. Yeah, we'll do that red. And we'll make the actual lines, make them blue. All right. And then all I have to do, so I can go back to pages or I can set additional margins. I'm just going to click submit. Boom. That quick. It's already put it in there. Over here on the right-hand side, we can see exactly what template we used. And there we go. My interior is already done that fast. Now, if I wanted to go in and again, add in some images, I could do that. But again, if this is a line journal, that's all I'm gonna do right there. So now I'm gonna go to the cover. Again, it's got KDP's template right here. And so I can go in and add some elements, just like any other system you know, that you would use, whether you wanna use PowerPoint or you wanna use Canva, whatever. I just do the same thing. So I'm just going to go in here, just stretch this out. And again, now I'm making the cover again in the exact same system. I'm just going to dim this all. Let's say I just want to make this a super simple cover. So I'm putting black on there and I want to put some text on it, obviously. And let's do, let's do heading. Let's say I want the text to be, let's do something like this teal. Do that. Click OK. As you can see, I can change the font type. I can change whether it's bold, 
I can change the opacity. I can even include a, hy a hyperlink if I wanted to. I can change, again, the font size. This is to adjust how it's going to be capitalized. And then, of course, underline. This is centered. So things that you're used to with Word or other systems like that. So I'm just going to stretch this out to here. And then for the heading, I can either type it right in here or I can go over here and type in here. So we're just going to call this. Obviously, this is way too big. Let's shrink this down. I'm also not a big fan of the font type. So we'll change that. So let's just find one that we like. Let's do this. That looks fun. Click OK. All right, that's better. Let's drag this over here. That line shows me it's centered, which is very helpful. I'm going to put it up here. I can make it a little bit bigger. Again, this, this video isn't on cover design. It's just to show you what you can do in it. Let's say that's all I want to do. Just something that simple. Maybe you put an image in or whatever. There you go. My cover's already done. I mean, there are some other options down here. I can turn on and off the grid lines. This right here is getting into the AI tools, which I'm not going to do in this video. But if you'd like to, to see some videos on the different AI tools, uh, let me know down in the comments as well. All right. So then all I need to do now that I've created this is scroll up here, click download. Do I want to download it in CMYK? RGB. And this is the whole project. And this is, do I want to just do the page? We'll do a whole project. All right. And what it's going to do is it's going to create two PDFs. It's going to create the one for the cover and the one for the interior. Now I will say there's one step that I actually would, would normally do. I would go in and actually remove, click in here and remove the template. So it's gone. I guess erase all that. Right. And so that's simple. The cover's already done. And go to my downloads folder, bring it over here. And as you can see, it's got the source files and then it's got the cover, the interior, and then even project settings for KDP right here. So it's got a text file to give you more information. All I did was click download and it gave me all that. So now I'm done in the studio and I can go back to book bulk, scroll up here. And as I said earlier, I can go to keyword research and see what keywords I want to search for. And then I can just type in here some keywords that I want to check out just like I would in other tools. So obviously we'll do composition. We'll just, let's just look up notebook and click search. If I scroll down here, it shows me the search volume, the keyword, the search volume. Over here, I can do a product search to see what products are actually using that. Click over here and get more details. I can also click over here and add it to my favorites. And again, I can do in another video how to use favorites. But this right here, again, just shows me the search volume. Let's find one that I think would be helpful. Obviously, I don't want to compete with something that's got 228,000. It's just super competitive. Let's just do, this was just a plain one. So we'll do notebook. We'll do lined notebook. Maybe I, I I can go back and add some decorative things. I can make it a decorative lined notebook, right? So let's go in here and let's look at some more details. Well, it's telling me the competitive score is an A. That means there's very little competition. The problem with that though is it's only one monthly sale. So that's not really that great. But what I love is they show you the other keywords that are being used along with it, okay? So definitely not gonna use this one, but let me look at lined, just notebook lined. Let's just try that one. Look at some more details. Now, an F score shows that it's super competitive. So again, not going to mess with that. But I can also look in here and see what other keywords are used alongside of it. So gifts for coworker and boss, that's a good one. Also, we can look for school. That's probably another one. So let's try composition notebook. Let's do animals composition notebook. See how that looks. It's got 200 sales a month. Not bad. A score of C. It's an average. So, I mean, it's going to be competitive, but not super competitive. Um, again, I can look in here and see what other keywords go along with it. Kids, animals for journaling, okay, teens. Okay, so this, again, gives me some ideas on what else I can be putting in my keywords, seven keyword slots. Again, I can always click on product search and see what products are, are using it. Now, obviously, I picked a very generic composition notebook. I, I didn't do anything special to it. I didn't do anything special on the cover. Obviously, when I did the niche research, if I was doing it for myself and not doing it for, you know, a, a video that I'm trying to keep within a, a short time amount to so that way I'm not taking up a lot of your time. I would have put more time into it and, and got something more specific and a little less generic. Let's try school notebook real quick. Here's some great ideas already. I could go back and, and tweak mine. I mean, vet school notebook, beauty school notebook. Again, it's just a notebook, but you change the cover, put some illustrations on the inside to make it more themes. All right, so we did school notebook and let's see what some of the good search volumes, right? It's not a smart notebook, so I don't want to confuse that because that means it's technology. That's not it. So, but let's say I know it made it black, but let's say I changed the color and I made it red. Let's see what the competition is with that. All right, so not a lot of competition at all. Now, right now it says it's only 
you know, one sale a month on average. Also keeping in mind that I'm doing this as we're getting close to the end of the year in 2025. Not everybody's searching for composition notebooks for school right now because they're going to be going on school on break. But again, it also shows me other keywords that skateboarding is pretty good. Co you know, if I did college ruled, I could do college ruled skateboarding, maybe have some images on it for boys. Again, a lot of different keywords that you might not have thought of. And and you don't have to keep searching for every single one. These are ones that have been used in conjunction with Red School Notebook. And again, the competition score shows that it's not competitive at all. Try it out. You don't have to have your entire, all your keyword slots used with just that, you know, that one search. But again, it'll still show up. And the more relevant it is, the higher you'll rank for it. We can talk about how to fill out your seven keyword slots best in another video. But there you go. In BookBolt. I've done all four things, the, the cover, the interior, the keyword research, and the niche research all within the same tool. So was I right or was I right? This can literally change your business. Think of how much time you'll save from jumping around from site to site or tool to tool. Think of how much more you can do for your business with the time that you save. So if you want to pick up BookBolt for yourself and try it out, head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash BookBolt. And don't forget to use the coupon code KEITH20 in all caps to get 20% off, not just your first month, but every single month, 20% off. Again, that's KEITH20. Now, as you saw, not only can you do low content, no content books using BookBolt, but you can do puzzle books and activity books too. If you want to learn more about puzzle books and activity books, check out this video right here. But if you're not interested in that, our fine friends over at YouTube say that this video right here is perfect for you. I'll catch you inside one of these videos and remember to write right.